Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this ring using FreeCut. So this is how it look in FreeCut. Uh, so if you like this design, you can follow my tutorial and also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so to start, I um, create a new document. And in the Sketcher workbench, I create a new sketch in the front view. I create a center arc. Start from the center. Something like this. And I click on this point and this line and I set a constraint. I click on this point and this line and I set a constraint. Okay. Now I create another center arc. Start from the center. Click on this point and then click on this line. All right. Make sure uh, this point is on this line. And I click on this arc and I set the diameter to 17.5. Enter. Now I hit close. Now I go to the part workbench. I click on uh, the sketch and go to extrude. I extrude it to 5 and hit OK. Now I go back to the sketcher workbench. I create a new sketch in the right view. And I will um, view the section. I reference uh, this line and this line. And I create a line connect from this point uh, to uh, this line. Okay. Now make sure you um, click on this uh, triangle and check on the auto remove redundance constraint and then you uh, create a um, polyline start from this point to this point and to this point okay I select this point and this point and I hit L and set it to 3 now I hit close Now go to the product workbench. I click on this uh, new sketch and extrude it to um, 50. And click on symmetric. And check on the gray solid. Click OK. Now I click on uh, this extrude and control click on uh, the extrude 001. And I go to, um, I just cut it. Okay, so next I will um, draw a round rectangle on top. So I go to the sketcher workbench. I create a new sketch on the top view. But uh, I offset it to 9.5. Click OK. Now I create a um, round rectangle something like this and i click on this line and click on this line i hit e for equal i click on this arc and i set the radius to one and i select this point this point and the center point in s for symmetry constraint now i select this point and this point and I set a distance to 3.5 enter now I hit close next I select this get and go to the data which is the placement and I will um, 
rotate it 45 degree because um, in default this get is um, the axis of the rotation is set to the z axis so I just type in here 45 degree next I create another sketch on the top view but uh, also offset it to 9.5 enter uh, I create a line connect from here to here make sure these uh, two points uh, are uh, on the vertical line and also um, outside of the uh, round rectangle now I hit close next I control select the round rectangle and select the line and go to the plot workbench I go to plot split and then slide apart now here in the JV view we have the folder and inside here is two piece so I click on the left piece and hit space bar to hide it. Now I go to the curl workbench. In the curl workbench, I hit Shift B and select these two. And I go to the view, the point side, I change it to 10. To make the point side bigger and I also select this line and I click on this create edge to um, create point on this line I click on it and I click on the this create I go to the data and uh, right now the number of points is um, 100 so I set it to 10 and um, I go to the view and I uh, set the point side to 10. Okay, now I will um, select this point and then this point, and I write a line in between. Next, I select this point and then the next point in here and uh, create. Um, another line right now I select this boy and select this boy and I create a freehand this block now I go to the front view I click and hold on this freehand display and I hit I to insert a new point and I click on this point and move it to the right I hit S to constrain it on the S axis and just move it a bit uh, to somewhere around here you can design the curve uh, to the shape that you want so i think uh, this curve is uh, five for my ring so i can hit q to confirm that next i uh, control select this point and then uh, the middle of this line and create another freehand display uh, this new freehand display will control the shape of um, the surface. Okay. Now I um, click on the discrete tie and uh, hit by bar to hide it. Now it's time to fill the surface. Now I go to the surface workbench and I click on the filling tool and I start from this edge. Make sure you uh, select. Uh, in sequence okay something like this and then you go to the edge constraint and you click on add edge and you click on this edge and then you click on this edge uh, you can see and uh, now I have a problem uh, filling the surface in here so I will fix that uh, by uh, let's see go to the cancel I cancel that I go to the curl workbench and instead of using the edge from this surface I will uh, generate the joy curve from it so I click on this edge and uh, generate a joy curve I click on this edge and 
right another joy curve okay now in the chief view we have two two more joy curve now i click on the a cup and his space bar to hide it now i go back to the surface workbench now i click on the filling tool and i click on this edge this edge this edge this one this one and then this one and I click on the edge constraint and I click on add edge and I click on this edge and then this edge. Now I hit OK. Now I will show the cut. I click on the cut and I hit space bar to show it. Now I will join this surface up here and this surface down here together. I go to the curve bench. And I control click on the top surface and the bottom surface and make sure you don't select this surface inside here, okay? Don't select it. And you create uh you click on the parametric solid to create a new surface. Now I hit shift and B and select everything and I hit space bar to hide everything. And I go to the chief view and I click on the solid, the, the new one, and hit spy brown to show it. Okay. Now I select the solid and I want to mirror it to the other side. So I go to the part bench and mirror it to the um, S and Z plan. You can see um, up here. The S is the red one and the blue is the Z the, the, the Z axis, okay? So I choose S and Z plane and I hit OK. Now I go in here and show the slide one. And I go to the surface workbench. And I click on the filling tool and I click on this edge, this edge, and then this edge. Now I hit OK. Now I select this one, uh, meaning the solid, and control click on this one and then this one. Okay. And then I go to the part bench and mirror it to the S and to the YZ plane. Okay. Now I come to the slide, I click on the slide and hit space bar to hide. Now I go to the surface workbench to fill uh, the hole up here. I go to the surface workbench and I click on the filling tool and I start uh, filling again. So you can see uh, the filling tool doesn't work uh, in this case. So I hit cancel. Just hit cancel. Uh, I will use um, another tool in the part workbench. So I go to the part workbench and um, create a shape builder. Click on it and I choose a uh, face from edge. Okay. And I control select this edge. Hold control and select this guy. And I hit create. Now I come to the front and control select this edge. And hit create. Go to the back. Great. Now I hit close. Now I go to the curve workbench. I hit Shift and B to select everything. And I click on parametric solid. Now we have a new solid 001 created. Now I will go to the sketcher. Um, 
I want to create a hole in in the middle. I go to the sketcher workbench and create a new sketch in the front view. I view the session. I click on the circle tool and create a circle. And I set the diameter to 16. Enter. Now I click on the new sketch and go to the part workbench and I will issue it to 50 and symmetric. Okay. Now I click on the ring and control click on the cylinder and I cut it. Now I come over here and control select this edge, this edge, and then come over here, select this edge. And this edge and fillet it with one uh, with oil one okay now I click on the fillet and go to the view deviation down to 0 0.01 okay now we just uh, finish uh, modeling the ring so hope you enjoyed the tutorial so thanks for watching